Good morning once again. Uh, we welcome you to Experiencing God Through the Seasons of Life. Our topic for today's devotion is called It's Not Over Until It's Over. We are going to be exploring this um, topic for the next few days. It's going to be coming, it's a story that comes from the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 1 through 7. Today we are going to focus on verse 1 and see how many lessons we can harvest. Um, 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 1 reads, Now they cried a, a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor is come to take him, my two sons, to be born men. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Firstly, we meet a woman who has no name. Her story is more prominent than her. And I'm sure there are so many widows whose stories are bigger than their names. They are not even known, but their stories are known. Just like this woman, uh, her story is bigger than her, and she is introduced by her crying. I don't know. Someone once said to me, don't mix words and cry. If you are crying, just cry. If you are talking, just talk. And I love the fact that this woman tells her story between her sobs. She went crying and then began to tell her story. There are some widows who just cry and not do anything. But I like this widow who stood up to go and meet the man of God. During those days, prophets were the voice of God. And this woman decides to go to God. Who do you go to when things come your way? Who do you go to when you, are, when you feel burdened? This woman went to God. And um, as she went to God, one other lesson that we, we pick there is that uh, she talks about the death of her husband. The Bible tells us that for, uh, death is inevitable. Mon, man who is born of a woman has a few days. And we know that for as long as we are on this side of heaven, one of us is going to die. Either you will die first or your husband will die first. A woman whose husband feared the Lord lost her husband. And she talks about a man who feared the Lord. There's another lesson for us there. For those who are still together, um, this man definitely feared the Lord, but he did not fear to borrow. How he lived, left his family in a situation that was very uncomfortable. And this woman is left with so many challenges. Not only is she grieving for her husband, she is now uh, poor. I think everything that was of value had been taken. And the other thing was now her sons were being taken. I mean, the, the, her challenges were coming like they were on cue, one thing after another. I've also learned that life continues to make its demands. Whether you have a situation, whether you have a challenge, as long as we are alive, challenges are part of life. And so this woman faces this bigger, bigger challenge now where she's about to lose her children. And when she, she realized she was going to lose her children, she did something and she stood up. And I'm challenging all the widows today who are grieving for their husbands that you cannot continue sitting down whilst things are getting bad. You need to stand up and do something. This woman did something and she went to the man of God. Another lesson we are getting there is that we need to live and plan ahead. However we live our lives, we need to realize that we, we, we should live responsibly. If we live irresponsibly, we make uh, challenges for our family. And even grieving can be worsened by the situations that people face after losing their loved ones. So we need to plan ahead. As we live, we need to talk about death. What should happen after one dies what should happen if they face this eventuality what should happen to the children what should happen about what and we need to be talking about these things because not talking about it is planning to fail and it's disastrous for those who remain and i want us to know that this story will continue and as it continues it's about to get better just because this woman did something and i'm challenging you as widows to stand up and do something not just to sit and cry because crying does not solve anything it actually deepens and worsens your situations it deepens your grief i know of people who have lost their lives because of these challenging situations they faced after losing their husbands. From the outset, her story seemed like it was over. It was full stop. Nothing. Her husband is dead. Her children are going to be taken away by creditors. It seemed like it was the end of the story. 
But lo and behold, it was only the beginning. Another season was on its way. And the Lord was about to, write, to rewrite the story of her life. The challenge that we have as widows is that we end the, our stories prematurely. Where stories should have ended with God being seen. For every challenge that comes your way is an opportunity for God to be seen. And in this situation, God was going to be seen in a big way. For God is about to rewrite your story. <music>